you could just bear with us for a minute. There are a few guests still arriving. So, uh, Mrs. Burns, will we warm up the singers? Okay. <laughs> Our reading this morning comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27. This reading expresses the need for self-discipline. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run, run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Thank you. Thank you, Joshua. Today, to pray for us, we welcome Father Aurelio Ayala, who is with Our Lady of Lord's Church. I could ask Father Ayala. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, you Lord, for allowing us to open our eyes one again and appreciate how beautiful life is. Thank you for our family, teachers, friends, and these colleagues that welcome us for the possibility of studying. We grant the grace to follow you always and be an example for others. We ask through Christ our Lord. Now I want to share a little reflection with you, my brothers and sisters. A great singer, Pedro Moreno from Cuba, once said, the future does not belong to those who know how to wait, but to those who know how to prepare. I can imagine and also identify in the joy you feel in your house right now. The joy which is undoubtedly a result of the hard work, sense of responsibility, dedication, persistence, and faith. Reaching a goal is not easy. It involves a selfish motivation, 
an energy that arises from our interior varies on the most important values of our lives. It implies a commitment that is reflected in our conduct and in the work we dedicate to them. It implies an adaptation and, and flexibility. The world changes constantly and it is necessary to have the capacity to make the adjustments that are required. It implies establishing the necessary priority. I am sure that nobody wants to have bad results in his or her life. The normal thing is to long for a life with success and with meaning. Success is achieved only through a lot of effort, determination, and courage. God himself gave this recommendation to men with a great mission to fulfill. Be a strong and courageous. Joshua chapter 1, verse 7. And this recommendation is accompanied by an invaluable promise. Because the promise is, I will be you, be with you, you wherever you go. Let me assure you that this is a now for our life. The meaning of your life is only found in God. You know the meaning of your life when you can answer the question, who am I and why am I here? You are a person created by God in his own image. You are a person loved by God, created to have a victorious life. Life becomes meaningful when we discover and appreciate this truth. I conclude with this sentence. What we are is God gives to us. Whatever we will be is our gift to God. This invitation is to always try to be a great version of, your, of yourself before a bad copy of another. That implies a daily work to recognize our achievements and mistakes and to grow and work towards the goal of every human being that is happiness. Amen. Will guests and staff remain seated and will college rise to sing our second hymn as the dear number two in the book.
Please be seated. Mr. B. A. B. Chairman of the SDC, Mr. Ike de Hayes, officials from the Ministry of Education, invited heads, headmasters, staff members of CBC, family and friends, young men of the college. Welcome to you all to this most important event of the year, the event at which we acknowledge the academic achievements of our Cambridge examination writers. I ask the college to rise again, please, to sing the hymn, I'm a Pilgrim, after which I'll invite the headmaster to address us. College, please rise. I'd like to call upon the headmaster, Mr. Mahomba, to do the presentation of Colors Awards. The chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Phil Edmund, and members of the board here present, are this portion of the Sanguania and officials from the Ministry of Education. Mr. Ike Hayes, the Chairman of the SDC and his executive. Father Aurelio Ayala, the Christian brothers, fellow heads, invited guests, some parents, well wishers, and young men of CDC. I welcome you all to this 2019 academic award ceremony. Excellent is the hallmark of our standard here at CBC. And as such, we gather this morning to give recognition to the boys who have attained this standard. This year, outstanding 15 boys will be conferred with academic honors time at IJC level. And at AS, a total of 16 young men will receive an academic award. Three will receive certificates. This brings the total of 34, the number of boys to walk away with an academic accolade. In all these accolades, we should not overlook some of the boys who may not be receiving an award this morning, but work to the best of their ability and attain commendable results. To these young men, I say well done. Keep up the momentum. We are only too happy to celebrate the next achievement with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that the solution of complacency and an easy life is 100 times more brutal, ultimately, than a life where you go all in and take an unconquerable stand for your biggest dreams. According to Robin Sharma in his book entitled 
the first AM clan. World clan begins where comfort zone ends. Is the rule the successful, the influential, and the happiest always remember? Some of you young men ask yourselves these questions. Do I study or do I play on my phone? Do I do my homework or do I watch TV? Do I study or do I play FIFA 19? I know about it. <laughs> we say to you, study, do your homework. It's not negotiable. That's the right thing to do to ensure success. Some of you will know the legendary Pele. He once said, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice. And most of all, you need to love what you're doing or learning to do. At IGSC level, our pass rate was 81% which is very good. <laughs> the average percent over the past five years is just over 80%. Some of our highest achievements at the IGSC came from the following young men. My mom went to the, with seven A's and three B's, of which two were stars. Joshua made with seven A's and a B and a C. The father of Makoni with eight A's and a B. Hudson Chakachi with eight A's and a B. Ingibiro Mukono, eight A's, of which four are stars and two B's. Montel Mnipa, nine A's and a B. Melton Lovu, eight A's and two B's. Which two are stands. I'm on Patel with seven A's. Well done to you, gentlemen. Please give them. <laughs> At A's level, the pass rate was 92%, with economics, DNT, and art scoring 100% pass rate. Some of the outstanding results at A's level include the following. Vianney Bell made two A's and a B. Tato Ochitepera, three A's. Petisay Mukura, four A's in the scientists. Well done, Petisay. Please give him. <laughs> Muzi Waitum Glovo, two A's and a B. Trelatin Glovo, two A's and a B. Sposito Swanda. Three A's also in the sciences. Jordan Smith, two A's and two, two B's. At A level, the pass rate was 96%, which is a slight increase from last year. A total of seven subjects scored 100% pass rate, namely accounting, art and design, biology, design and technology, English language, literature and English, and history. In the A-level category, some of the outstanding results came from the following young men. I'll just read a handful. Onang Kapela, 20 points, 4 A's on the science. <laughs> it is off to university somewhere. So you'll see that also 20 points, including an A star in accounting. Acceptable. Such a high standard of results is testimony to the hard work and commitment from the teachers, the parents, our board, and all stakeholders. Thank you very much. We continue to value your support in all that we do at this college. In line with our five-year strategic plan, we have continuously reviewed the performance of the boys 
and academic department. This exercise has enabled teachers to review teaching methods and offer assistance to some of the boys. I must salute the teachers for giving of their time, particularly during the weekend as well as during school holidays. Going this extra mile is in fact what ultimately brings about this superb result. In all, the examination results are a powerful vindication of the ethos, practice, and permanence of our demanding commitment and an encouraging call to the improvement and the dedication that the new year brings. Ladies and gentlemen, we will continue to strive to do better for your son, knowing well that our mandate goes beyond producing great results. We as a college are committed to rebuilding our beautiful nation. Our contribution to this cause is to turn out dedicated and hard-working young men. At this juncture, I'd like to ask all the staff to please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I say this all the time, and I'll continue to say this staff is outstanding and must be fully supported by the combined forces of parents, pupils, administrators, the board and SDC. Please give this staff a huge round of applause. Oh, thank you. As a school, we are happy and very proud of these results. We will continue to improve our method of teaching in holistic education based on Christian values. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. announce our academic winners this morning. Um, I will start off with IGCSE full colors. These are young men who have attained seven A's and above. My bon went to be. Joshua Maywell. Tapazwa Makoni. Hudson Jakachi. Montel Maniqua Matthew Dogu Mohammed Patel IGCSE Half Palace, Kit Cherai, um, Half Palace are awarded to boys who attained five and six A's. Fred Neva Mamondo, Zweli Tini Maspulela.
خدا کو عشق ایک ہم بران to AS level full colors. These are boys who have attained 15 points and above. Kuyani Bebe. Happy watch Bebe. Sai Mampur. Most way to Ndoko. Kilalati Ndoko. So Spanda. Jordan Smith. Now for AS Half Palace, these are boys who have attained 12 to 13 points. My home is Dodo. Nyasha Jawa. Sean Maumbe Bongeni Mtundi Brian Muteta. And then we have AS level special mention. These are young men who obtained full colors at O level, but have obtained half colors at A level. Ethan James. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Another huge round of applause for our award winner.
Thank you, Mr. Mohamba, and congratulations to all the award winners. I should now like to call upon Mohamed Patel to talk to us about excellence, our hallmark. The Chairman of the Board, Mr. Edmeet, the Head of the SDC, Mr. Kais, the Headmaster, Mr. Muhumba, invited guests, staff, parents, and young men of CBC, a good morning to you all. The great philosopher Aristotle once said, excellence is never an accident. It is the, it is the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wisest choice of many alternatives, so choice, not chance determines your destiny. The mere fact that I stand here before you today on this podium is a culmination of excellence attained by many of the individuals across various fields that cultivated the opportunity for me to perform at this level. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge them all today. Firstly, our school. Many of you will not agree with me, but our school and its facilities in particular are truly unappreciated. We are blessed to have all this around us, our classrooms, our laboratories, computer labs, a library, courtyard, sports field, squash courts, and tennis courts. All of these are set up in a holistic manner that allows us to express ourselves, enjoy ourselves, and learn in a peaceful and safe environment that around, as others around us cannot only dream of. Secondly, our admirable, yet sometimes tested teachers. The effort you put into our lives from day one, in and out of the school, is truly commendable. But each and every one of us will have good and bad experiences. Mainly bad, but through the bad experiences we learn to better ourselves. We don't recognize your efforts enough, and I'd like to say, on behalf of the entire Low Six Body, we truly appreciate you. With this in mind, I would like to thank each and every teacher. Whether or not I have or have not been taught by you, it would be my honor to list you here, but due to time, I won't be able to, and I feel my audience may be in this. So I've painstakingly chosen to recognize a few teachers that have had one great impact on my life at CBC. Mr. Fenwick, my history teacher, you pushed me to be better, you made me better, and provided me with the means to better myself. To Mr. Sibanda, your threatening but motivating nature always inspired me. Your constant threat of, I'll throw you under the truck always got me until I realized that you actually drive a truck. <laughs> the fear of having to explain that I'd somehow get a C in my subjects you taught me kept me in my books. Unfortunately, that day did not come. To Mr. S. Moyo, I've learned from you that there's always a positive side to every situation. Your ability to stay enthusiastic with a class as horrific as mine is comforting and sometimes frightening. In my four years of learning in your class, I've never, meet, let, I've never been let down by a constant motivation, positivity, and assurance of the A grade that I achieved. To Mr. N. Moyo, your wise words to us will never be forgotten. Good grades surely are accompanied by good discipline. If you lack the discipline in your life to control what is and is not good for you, surely you will not be able to achieve your goals. And to Mrs. Mate, our academic head, thank you for always believing in me. And no matter how many times I failed at something, you never failed to pick me up and motivate me to always do better. Thirdly, to my parents. Your aid, motivation, and threats have kept me straight in my pursuit of excellence. I would like to thank you both for the time you invested in me, for keeping for the time you investigate you invested in me, and for keeping a price tag as far away from my education as possible. Aristotle spoke of intelligent execution. That doesn't mean just being clever. It means making good choices, not only in our schoolwork, but in all the clubs and extracurricular activities that it has to provide for us. We have such a diversity of clubs, inclusive of media club, debate, interact, and young years. All these clubs provide us with a platform to groom us into the complete men that can make a positive contribution to our society. I encourage you, especially the juniors, to embrace them and not to pass off these opportunities. Our predecessors have shown us that the hallmark of excellence, the test of greatness, is consistency. They have achieved something that we can all aspire to. Some examples in recent years are, in 2015, Christian Perec attained four A stars and an A at A level. 
he was and still is considered the pinnacle of academic excellence at the school. Outside of academics, he was the president of our media club. He now studies at the University of New York on a 75% scholarship. In 2016, we met Andrew Cesarianos. He received academic colors, captained the Zimbabwean swimming team, and now studies at Pace University in New York. These students are an example to us that excellence is not only achievable in one area. It can be in sports, academics, or even both. But we also have amongst us individuals who are starting for excellence now. Denilson Cipriano, he is in the Zim swimming team and has broken 93 swimming records. He is set to compete later in the junior championships in Budapest, Hungary, in August. Each and every one of us has greatness inside us. We only need to understand that people are not born with excellence. They cultivate it, and over a period of time, through hard work, wise work, and smart work, they achieve it. Mediocrity is an evil that has never allowed anyone to achieve any greatness. Stay away from this trap in which you assume that an average nature and work ethic will let you progress in life. You have to give your best all the time to progress in life. And that starts right here at our college. In closing, I would like to share some of my thoughts with the juniors. To the form ones and twos, establish relations with your seniors. We have been through the whole process that you've been in, and we will always help you. You are the future of this college, and it's imperative that you maintain our high standards. Expect these two years to be rough, because they are going to be. And your standard of work and ability to manage your time dictates how your following years at this college will be. To the Form 3s and Form 4s, these are arguably the most important in your life. Don't be afraid to put in the hard work, because in the end, it all pays off. When I got my mock result, I had achieved 1A, 6Bs, and 2Cs. It was then that I realized that my work wasn't sufficient for what I wanted to achieve. And as you can see from what I got from my O levels, it did change. This shows you that anyone is capable of excellence if you are willing to put in the required work. But do not wait until you reach this point of desperation. You realize, when you realize that you must change your ways and start now. If you start now, you will be able to easily achieve better. Because ability isn't defined by the class you're in. This is defined by the amount of work you are willing to do to achieve your goals. Excellence is only achieved when you are able to step out of your comfort zone and make sacrifices that you are not necessarily happy to make. We already have the right place, an excellent school and facilities, the right tools, excellent teachers, the right environment, excellent cultural and sporting facilities and activities. So what's left is only for us to make excellence our own hallmark and we can all achieve greatness. Thank you. Thank you, Mohamed. I should now like to call upon Peter Saimakura to talk about the three habits of successful people. I think I'll just place this tie over my name. Full <laughs> emphasis. <laughs> to the chairman of the board, Mr. Edmund, the head of SDC, Mr. Kays, the headmaster, Mr. K. Mohamba, staff, invited guests, well wishes, parents, young men of CBC, good day to you all. Sir Isaac Newton's first law of motion said that a body at rest or in motion will remain that way unless acted upon by an external force. The A-level class of 2019 can safely deny the credibility of Newton's theory. <laughs> when our subject got challenging, we stayed in motion. When the temptation of dropping subjects loomed, we stayed in motion. Through fierce competition for last place in chemistry, we kept our heads high. When words he put numbers in maths, we didn't waver. When the temptation of banking lessons grew stronger, we moved forward. In good times, in bad, enduring scars, bruises, we kept at it. Going into 2019, as we complete our journey through high school, 
but we continue to defy the laws of science and reach for greater heights. I'd like to firstly thank God for the abundant blessings which have, which have brought me thus far. Thank you for your faithful love, which endures forever, for granting me the bravery, courage, and strength to strive for my dreams and what my heart yearns for. For all the protection and the success you have granted me, all glory and praise goes to you. To our teachers, thank you for pushing us in all aspects of our lives. The great lens you have gone in preparing us for our exams is truly appreciated. For the kind words of encouragement when our marks could barely exit the 20s, for your constant belief in us and the few times you sent us to detention, we are truly grateful. All you have done has been for the veterans of our future and you have left a profound mark in our lives. To our parents, I hope we've made you proud. Your love and unwavering support for us has pushed us through hard times and we're grateful for you. To my biggest fan, mom and dad, I love you. <laughs> You have pushed me and anchored me from the moment you laid eyes on me. You have set an example I could follow, a standard which I have made my benchmark of success. Thank you. To my new future warriors, well done. Your hard work, passion, dedication has bore you fruit. As we all in our success, we should never forget the sleepless nights we enjoyed to get here. And also, that black ties matter. <laughs> We should never slow down and keep aiming high. There is no limit. For those who haven't excelled to their full potential, the future still holds great. This still holds great things. Grab them. Keep your engines running. You might have lost a battle, but the war is long is a long way from over. My light is far. <laughs> your time is nine. Try only for greatness. Never settle for less. Things will get tough. Things will fall apart. Nevertheless, show the world why your blood is green and your heart is full. A few words of wisdom. Be proactive. Anticipate problems. Seek your own solution and give your best of at all times. Have clarity about your goal and carry out only those actions that help you to achieve these goals. Every dream starts with the dreamer. Don't let your dream be only, be only a hope or wish. Take action to your dreams and turn them into your reality. Begin with the end in mind. This will be key in granting you the motivation to keep fighting when the night gets cold. It is often said that success occurs when preparation meets opportunity. Meaning, enjoy the process and harness as much knowledge and experience on your way to the top. Be courageous enough to put first things first, because that which matters must be put at must never be put at mercy of things which matter least. These points are all highlighted in, in Stephen Conway's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Procrastination, the delay of significant issues, is the biggest dream killer. Actions bring suffering, so does the inaction. What's, your, what's worth your suffering? Accept where you are and accept the responsibility to take yourself where you want to go. The former American president, John F. Kennedy, said, We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. If you want to shine like a diamond, you have to be cut like a diamond. In conclusion, 2019 is the year to care more, to dream more, to teach more, to learn more, to laugh more, to excel more, to bark more, <laughs> to laugh more, to do more, 
and above or to be more prioritized yet. Thank you, Pet Design. Uh, well, everyone remain seated for a few moments while we enjoy a musical interlude from Kudzaishe and Matibe. I should now like to call upon the head boy, Irish Nate, to give the vote of thanks. Good morning, Mr. Mohamba, Mr. Edmund, Chairman of the SDC, Mr. Kais. Father Aurelio Ayala, staff, invited guests, 
parents and young men of the college. Today is a very prestigious day in our school calendar, and I would like to congratulate all the prize winners for their academic success. It's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. I, on behalf of the college, would like to thank you, Father Aurelio, for the blessing you have radiated upon us today. A special thank you must be given to the teachers who have pushed us young men to achieve our best academically. My heartfelt thanks must be given to the executive, the board, and the SDC for their valuable contribution and guidance and encouragement in all our efforts. To Mr. Glewitzki and his ground staff, I would like to thank you for your hard work in setting up the part for today's event. To Mrs. Noble and her team, thank you for the delicious tea and treat you have prepared for today. I thank all the guests present today who, despite your busy schedule, have found time to grace this occasion with their presence. I thank the student body for your cooperation in making this function a success. Finally, I would like to leave you with a lyric by the late Oliver McGuigley. In this troubled time in Zimbabwe, don't be disheartened. The Lord is with you. Be strong-hearted because God is with you. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Uh, I should now like to call upon Father Ayala again to make a closing, closing prayer for us. We give thank you to God for everything special for this moment of sharing of fraternity and ask for the grace to live our life with joy, with responsibility, and with peace. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, your study, and this Christian brother called the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Will guests and staff please remain seated, and will college please rise to sing the school song? And after the school song, if college could please remain behind and allow uh, guests, staff, and teachers to go to the staff room for tea.